Blended Learning in Mathematics Teaching Hi learners! Have you imagined blended learning in mathematics? Well, if not, then I will share it all to you. Blended learning is defined as follows. With Locke and Jeffley 2003 proposed three definitions for blended learning as follows. The complete integration of traditional learning and internet-assisted learning. The integration of instructional means and the use of educational technology in learning. And the integration of several instructional methods regardless of technology. In addition, Burst in 2003 defines blended learning as a modern method which depends on technology and the use of instructional methods suitable for solving the problems related to class management as well as learning directed activities which requires accuracy and mastery. Blended learning is composed of the following components face-to-face -face learning, online learning, and self-paced learning. Four characteristics of blended learning as cited in Egbert and Hanson Smith 1999. First, learners have opportunities to interact socially and negotiate meaning. Second, learners have enough time and feedback. Third, learners are guided to attend mindfully to the learning process. And lastly, learners work in an atmosphere with an ideal stress or anxiety level. Importance of blended learning, why is it necessary to integrate in classroom? It helps students to develop project and time management skills. It integrates appropriate technology and managing it effectively throughout courses. It also gives opportunities to create course experience that are personal, relevant, and engaging. It supports the provision of information and resources to students. It engages and motivates students through interactivity and collaboration. Synchronous technologies allow students to communicate and collaborate outside of the classroom. It also improves pedagogical practices, speedier performance was detected on real-world tasks, and it has the ability to use web for the classroom, has the potential to serve any student at any time and in any place. The six blended learning models. The first three includes station rotation model, lift classroom model, and flex model. Another includes online driver model, self-blend model, and online lab model. Theories that supports blended learning. First up is John Dewey's progressivism and essentialism theory as cited in the study of Terpene 2018. Dewey believed that a child-centered individualistic approach to teaching children was the best way to ensure that students learned what they needed to learn for future success in real-world scenarios. Curriculum content in progressivism centers on student interest, involves the application of human problems, and the subject matter is interdisciplinary. Progressivism aims, as described by Dr. Scrum Pate, are to promote democratic social living and to foster creative self-learning. Dewey's ideas lead to a view concerning education, where each individual student is or should be the center of any educational program. Second is Jean Jacques Rousseau's Existentialism. Blended learning serves to fulfill Rousseau's idea that teachers should not consistently be the center of the child's education. He suggestion that the tutor or the teacher should be doing their job without being the center of the equation helps the, to underscore the argument for the potential success of blended learning. Lastly, was the theory of Lev Vygotsky's sociocultural theory and social constructivism as cited in the study of Dinis 2020. Schools and teachers that embrace blended learning models are proponents of Vygotsky's theories as there is a face-to-face -face component blended learning affords its learners over the only online model. In blended learning, the face-to-face -face instructor is looked upon as the more knowledgeable other of the classroom. Blended learning can be looked upon as a being built on social constructivist theory because it takes place socially even if the learning environment is supported with technology.
Now, let's move on to the study of the strategy. Blended learning combined with synchronous and asynchronous types of teaching were suggested to be beneficial. The synchronous teaching proceeds in a real time in which all participants accept the presented experience simultaneously and they can react mutually and asynchronous teaching is usually applied in different times to different students in which they can choose the pace and the way of accepting experience. Next, Stallman and Taylor 1996 recommended introducing blended learning into the curriculum and employing it in classes. Their recommendations include also establishing a safe learning environment and improving the stamina of the student, providing opportunities for students for applying the skills in meaningful context, enhancing reading and writing skills, which is achieved through the use of simple forms, introducing of technology to ch students, as well as the application which assists innovation, productivity of the students, and decrease the levels of anxiety towards the use of computers among the students. Another one is Lin and Shen 2007, Lu and Glo 2011, and Lui 2010, which they found out that blended learning had positive impact on students' cognitive and affective aspects. Lastly, Blended learning could also promote effective aspect of students. It can increase students' enthusiasm and enjoyment as well as promote independent and self-regulated learning, increases student interest, instills a deposition of self-advocacy, and provides student autonomy. Now, at this point of time, I will show to you a sample lesson plan in this strategy of teaching. Now, presented are the references of the studies cited in this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something in this video.